So let's start now with the uh, illustration number 15 from the textbook. Is a similar exercise ka sum I have already solved in my other video lecture. So you can watch that. Now let's read the question. Gopi, Krishna and Ram are partners of a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 6. The balance sheet of the firm as on 31-3-2012 is as under. Now in this sum, you can see capital accounts are given which will go to capital account and we have balances of current account also. We have balance of Gopi, we have balance of Ram and we also have balance of Now Contingency reserve, tick kardo. Contingency reserve will go to old partners, old ratio. Now, what's the ratio? Let's calculate the ratio first. 1 by 2, 1 by 3, and 1 by 6. So, 6 se multiply karenge sabko. So, 3 is to 2 is to 1 will be the new, will be the old ratio. So, Contingency reserve may like though 3 is to 2 is to 1. Workman compensation fund again take investment fluctuation fund again take investment fluctuation fund may some we can see market value is given. So there is an adjustment. Then creditors bad debt reserve. Bad debt reserve we can show it separately or we can even deduct from the debtors. Now in the textbook. In some of the sums they have deducted, some of the sums they have shown it separately. So I think the best would be to deduct it from debtors. So usko bhi tick kar do, hum debtors mein se minus kar denge. Tick debtors also. Goodwill, old goodwill bracket mein 3 is to 2 is to 1. Trademark, nothing is to be done for the trademark. Let's see if there is some adjustment given. Okay, we'll see later on machinery, investment, stock, debtors, investment also take stock, debtors, cash in bank, we'll see later, and current account of Krishna. It is a debit balance. Go to current account debit side. Value of machinery is to be increased by 10%. Take machinery. Value of trademark is to be reduced by 40%. Again, there's adjustment, so take trademark. Then, bad debt reserve is to be kept at 15%. So, debtors already tick kiya hi hai. Bad debt reserve ko bhi tick kiya hai. Then, discounted bill receivable of 1300, which is dishonored on due date. No amount is received from debtors. So bill receivable bhi hai aur wo discount kar raha tha jo dishonor ho gaya. So debtors ko fir se karna padega tick. Bill. Goodwill of the firm is valued at 60,000. New goodwill of the firm is 60,000. Later on we will see this. Then. New profit and loss sharing ratio is given 2 is to 1. Now prepare revaluation account, partners, current account, capital account and balance sheet after retirement of RAM. What I would suggest is let's find the gain ratio first of all. Okay, so we write the name of the partners, Gopi. Krishna. And RAM. Find the old, find the gain ratio. Okay, now old ratio is three is to two is to one. New ratio is given. Now who is retiring? Ram is retiring. So cross kar diya. 
2 by 3 and 1 by 3 and gain ratio gain is equal to what new minus old so 2 by 3 minus 3 by 6 so which comes to 1 by 6 and 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6 which comes to again 1 by 6 I think uh, sir, uh, uh, gain not uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, mistake. Oh, yeah, two two by six, six. sorry, two by six. So this will become zero. Mm. That's right. This will become zero. Mm. Okay, so mm. it be gain hai, it is of gopi. Now. Let's start with the sum. Subse pehle partners uh, capital account Gopi 30,000, Krishna 20,000 and Ram is 30,000. So partners capital account by balance bought forward. If you uh, mic, jara mute kar do beta. Okay, sir. Gopi is 30,000. Krishna is 20,000. And Ram is 10,000. Then current account. Gopi 8,000 and Ram 10,000 credit balance. So in partners current account, by balance bought forward gopi is 8000 keep the textbook in front of you and ram is 10000 nothing for krishna next Contingency reserve 3 is to 2 is to 1. Partners current account by contingency reserve 12,000. So 12,000 3 is to 2 is to 1. So 6. So 6,000. 4,000. 2,000. Next, workman compensation fund. Is there any adjustment given for workman compensation? Look at the adjustments. No adjustments are given for workman compensation. So complete will be distributed between partners. So by workman compensation fund amount is 9003 is to 2 is to 1 6 so 1500 so 4500 3000 and 1500 next Investment fluctuation fund. Now for investment, uh, it is already given market value is uh, 15,000. There is no separate adjustment given, but adjustment is given in the bracket. So it's a sort of a hidden adjustment. So we solve it right now itself, or uh, we can solve it when we write investment or we can solve it at the end but better if you know it's a hidden adjustment better to solve it at this stage 
itself. Now investment is 40,000. So let me write investment balance sheet, 40,000 rupees. I'll leave some line. Inner column 40,000. Now minus investment fluctuation fund. Now how much is the market value? You can see in the question that market value is 15,000. So over your twenty five thousand. So outer column, what we get is 45,000 minus 25,000, which comes to 15,000. Now we go to investment fluctuation fund. Investment fluctuation fund is 15,000, but reduction is 25,000. So 10,000 will come, will go from revaluation account. So revaluation account debit side to investment account amount is 10,000. I can do a working for this. Working note number two. Now investment fluctuation fund amount is 15,000 reduction in value of investment Twenty five thousand. So ten thousand will be debited to revaluation account. If you want, I can give you the entry. Entry will be investment fluctuation fund account debit 15,000 revaluation Account debit ten thousand to investment account. Twenty five thousand. Write the entry. Done. Have written the entry. Should we proceed? Okay, now uh, let's proceed with the sum. Now, creditors. No adjustment, inner column, 23,000. Mm -hmm. 
बैंडेड रिजर्व डेटर्स में से माइनस करेंगे गुडविल नाउ गुडविल थ्री इज टू टू इज टू वन अमाउंट इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सो पार्टनर्स करंट अकाउंट डेबिट साइड टू गुडविल फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड थ्री इज टू टू इज टू वन सो टू फिफ्टी इंटू थ्री इज अ सेवन फिफ्टी इंटू टू इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड टू फिफ्टी trademark inner column 18000 machinery 60000 inner column Just a moment. Okay. Then investment we have already taken care of. Stock twelve thousand outer column. Debtors twenty six thousand. Okay, debtors. Now over here in debtors, all of you please pay attention for a while. See over here. we have this fourth adjustment look at the fourth adjustment all of you look at the fourth adjustment all of you discounted bill receivable 1300 which is dishonored on due date 313 2017 no amount is received from debtors now you underline this no amount is received from debtors please underline this now what does this mean this means that uh, the amount which we were supposed to receive from the debtors is now we are not going to receive that amount so it has become a bad debt for us so 1300 has become a bad debt but over here this is a bill receivable which we have discounted with the bank now it means against this piece of paper against this piece of paper this bill okay we gave this bill to the bank and we received the money but now on maturity date or due date the bill got dishonored so bank is going to take away the money from us and we are supposed to receive it from our debtors but here it is said that no amount is received from debtors so instead of then adding first in debtors and then removing it we will directly transfer this bad debt okay so over your bank will take its own money from us bank will take 1300 which bank would have given us when we discounted the bill so you take cash in bank account also for adjustment because here our bank balance will also decrease so as of now we keep debtors or uh, 26000 and we leave two lines blank we leave two lines blank after this then we go to cash in bank or you can leave three lines blank okay cash in bank 3000 
inner column now. And now we have current account of Krishna debit balance. Ideally, I should have written it in the first line. However, we are not making date. It is okay if we write second, but uh, technically it won't be right because uh, balances always come the first. So I'll just remove it and transfer it on the second line. And I'll write to balance bought forward. Now this balance is of Krishna. Can it date nahi diya hai to order is not important. But over here it's an opening balance. So ideally it should be written the first. Okay, that's the right way of presenting it. 4500. Okay. So now I think we have completed the full balance sheet. All of you can see this. We have done everything. Just go through it once. Let's go to the first adjustment. Value of machinery is to be increased by 10%. So let's look out for machinery. Machinery plus 10%. So it comes to 10% is 6,000. Outer column 66,000. Second effect increase in the value of machinery so by machinery 6000 next Value of trademark is decreased by 40%. Trademark 18,000 minus just a minute, uh, trademark is to be reduced up to 40% diya hai. Dhyango, please once again, up to 40% diya hai. Yane trademark ka value hume decrease karna hai up to 40%. Uh, please underline this. Now over here, this value of machinery is increased by 10% hai, but the value of trademark is reduced up to 40%. So we have to bring the value of trademark to 40%. So here you write in bracket decrease by 60%. Thoda careful rena because padne mein mere se bhi directly mere mind mein 40% reduction aa gaya but fir se maine socha ki ye up to likha hai to mujhe strike hua ki we have to decrease this by 40 by 60% so decrease kar do minus 60% Minus 60 percent. Minus 10,800, so 7,200. Give the effect to trademark account 10,800. Okay, now what uh, is this? I have correct that the capital account is 10,000 type, it is 30,000. Now, should I proceed now? 
नौ से ये एडजस्टमेंट जो है डिस्काउंट का ये डेटर्स का सॉरी ये डिस्काउंटेड बिल्स वाला और डेटर वाला थोड़ा ट्रिकी एडजस्टमेंट है सो so, थोड़ा ध्यान देना इसमें डिस्काउंटेड बिल रिसीवेबल ऑफ थर्टीन हंड्रेड विच इज डिसऑनर्ड ऑन ड्यू डेट थर्टी वन थ्री टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन नो अमाउंट इज रिसीव फ्रॉम डेटर्स तो फर्स्ट लेट्स राइट अ जर्नल एंट्री फॉर दिस सो दैट वी गो स्टेज वाइज नाउ वेन एवर बिल डिस बिल रिसीवेबल विच इज डिस्काउंटेड विद द बैंक इज डिसऑनर्ड we first pass the entry for this this is working note number 3 so let's first pass the entry for this now bank humse paisa le lega and we will go to the debtors and we will ask this money from our debtors so debtors account will be debited by 1300 and bank account will be credited by 1300 write the entry now what is happening this debtor of 1300 it is given no amount is received from the debtor so this debtor is turning back so we write the entry bad debt account debit 1300 to debtor account 1300 now as you can see that debtor has increased by 1300 and debtors have decreased by 1300 तो यहाँ पे डेटर के बैलेंस को कोई फर्क पड़ा नहीं नाउ बैड डेट्स जो है वो कहां से जाएगा सिंस वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ बैलेंस ऑफ रिजर्व इट विल गो फ्रॉम अवर रिजर्व सो बैड डेट रिजर्व अकाउंट डेबिट थर्टीन हंड्रेड to bad debt account thirteen hundred because we already had a reserve we transferred this loss to our reserve please write all the three entries. now let's calculate our bad debt reserve current bad debt reserve for the current year now we have debtors of rupees 26000 now bad debt jo aaya you can see this entry debtors to bank we increase the balance of debtors and then again we decrease the balance of debtors so debtors may 26000 will remain 26000 only now minus bad debt reserve current we have to calculate at 15% calculate the amount 3900 so the balance is of 3900 now let's do a working acha we can see the difference amount 26000 minus 3900 22100 so outer column is 
22,100. Now what happens to bad debt reserve? Now bad debt reserve Uh, the marker is not working well on Excel. I'll go to the whiteboard. Bad debt reserve. We had a balance of 8,000. Usme se minus bad debts, jo abhi humne 1,300. So our balance after the bad debt effect comes to 8,000 minus 1,300, which comes to 6,700. Now, what is bad debt reserve as per adjustment? So bad debt reserve as per adjustment, it comes to 3,900. So how much is excess? We have excess bad debt reserve, which is to be reversed. Amount is 2,800. So to reverse this in reverse bad debt reserve, entry will be now bad debt reserve account debit 2,800 to revaluation account 2800 please write the entries please write the entries now let's go back to debtors so debtors 26000 minus bad debt reserve at the rate 15% 3,900 22,100 so debtors done bad debt reserve done now reversal of bad debt reserve by bad debt reserve amount comes to how much is the reversal amount we calculated 2800 now how did we get this let's write 8000 opening balance or balance minus 1300 bad debt minus 3900 BDR As per adjustment, that is how we got the amount. You can cross verify 8000 minus 1300 minus 3900, 2800. In the textbook, 4100 is given on the credit side and 1300 is given on the debit side. So, net effect remains the same. Let's go to the next one. Goodwill of the firm is valued at 60. Now 60,000 is the value of goodwill. This complete out of this 60,000 we have to find a share of RAM. So let's do the working. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now Dhyandena, once again I'm explaining the concept. Now, bad debt reserve, Hamare pass already 1800 tha. We already had, sorry, bad debt reserve already Hamare pass 8000 tha. Then additional bad debt came at 1300. So our balance left is 6700. So this is the balance of bad debt reserve with us. But current year debtors are 26,000. Or iska 15% we have to create reserve, which comes to 3000. 900 yani chahiye 3900 par hai 6700 to excess kitna hai 2800 
800. इसको हमें रिवर्स करना है वेन वी क्रिएट बैड डेट रिजर्व इंक्रीज पी एन एल टू बैड डेट रिजर्व वेन वी रिवर्स इट इट बिकम्स बैड डेट रिजर्व टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस बट यूर वी डोंट हैव प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस वी हैव रिवेल्युएशन अकाउंट सो वी ट्रांसफर इट टू रिवेल्युएशन अकाउंट गॉट इट यस सर थैंक यू नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू अवर एक्सेल Now, goodwill. Goodwill is sixty thousand. Now, share of Ram in goodwill one six. So it comes to ten thousand. This ten thousand will be credited to Ram. And now, gain con kar raha hai. Sir, ek hi partner. गेन कर रहा है गोपी तो गोपी को डेबिट करेंगे और राम को क्रेडिट करेंगे यू कैन राइट ओवर योर गोपी करंट अकाउंट डेबिट टेन थाउजेंड टू राम करंट अकाउंट Ten thousand. Answer ratio gain ratio. Let's do the posting. Ram ko credit karna hai Ram ke current account mein by Gopi's current account ten thousand. Two Rams. Current account ten thousand. All done. Check the adjustments once again, all of it, and uh, start closing it. We have to see which side is more. Your debit side is more. Same we write over here twenty thousand eight hundred. Usme se hum minus kar denge six thousand minus two thousand eight hundred. We get twelve thousand. So this twelve thousand will go to partners current account. Gopi, Krishna, and Ram. Twelve thousand three is to two is to one, so six thousand, four thousand. And two thousand. We transfer it to partners' current account. Two thousand. Now. acha one effect uh, we have to give let me check cash and bank here we have to decrease you have to decrease dishonor bill so don't forget this that's why we always check before we start closing 1700 please don't forget this effect Okay, now we will close individual accounts. Ram, we close Ram first because Ram is also the partner who is retiring. Seventeen 
same 23500 balance of ram will be transferred to rams capital account because we have capital and from this we will transfer to his loan account so which is 23500 minus 250 minus 2000 so 21250 Rams capital account capital account may buy Rams current account same amount two one two five zero from this we transfer this amount to Rams loan okay we can do this at the end now Krishna, which side is more? Debit is more. Do the total. Same on the credit side. Nine thousand balance. by balance carried forward amount comes to 9 minus 7 2000 gopi 10 and 616 8 and 614 credit side is more same on the debit side balance carried forward minus 750 minus 10,000 minus 6,000 1750 now over your Krishna's balance will be considered as a debit balance because for Krishna debit side is more than the credit side. So here we write current account. Krishna. Amount is 2000. Current account. Gopi. Amount is 1750. Credit balance or liability side. This is a credit balance because credit side is more than the debit side. Now let's go to capital account. Over here, credit side is more. Now this complete amount will be transferred to Ram's loan. Transfer it to balance sheet. Five one two five zero. Okay. Then balance it to balance. Carry it forward.
Thirty thousand, twenty thousand. So transfer it. Gopi. Thirty thousand. And Krishna. You can see Gopi or Krishna ne mila mil ke Ram ko retire kar diya. Twenty thousand. So total is fifty thousand. Current account. You can directly write outer column one seven five zero. Check and see if everything done. Then close it. Do the totals. Tally hold. That's it. Check the sum to the total and do the sum once again as a part of your homework. 